From booze delivered to your door to dropping the hammer on those pesky telemarketers, there is a whole new set of state laws that go into effect on September 1st. Yeah, emergency dispatchers will now be mm -hmm. classified as first responders and dogs will be allowed on all restaurant patios. There are a lot of new laws that will go into effect. Melissa Correa digging through them all. Tell us more. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to have the camera come on over because we had to weed through the fine print. Some of the bills that were signed into law by Governor Greg Abbott took effect immediately. Other won't take effect until the new year and then you have September 1st. So let's roll that report. Starting September 1st, you have more options for personal protection. You will be able to carry brass knuckles and clubs in public. But just like any weapon, remember people have to understand that there are legal implications just because it's legal now to carry uh, brass knuckles, for example, doesn't mean that you can use it in any, every situation that you find yourself in. Like confronting a crook, specifically the kind that steals your packages. <laughs> Texans are applauding this new law, which makes it a felony to steal anything considered mail. We're talking letters, postcards, packages, and other sealed items. The federal law only covers the U.S. Postal Service, but starting September 1st, people caught and convicted of stealing mail or packages in Texas could spend six months to a decade in prison. So keep those security cameras rolling. Texas has your back just in time for holiday shopping. And get this, the Texas Attorney General is ready to drop the hammer on telemarketers who spoof. That's when they switch up their phone number, so the call looks like it's coming in from a number that's familiar to you. Well, in Texas, anyone putting out false info on caller IDs could be fined $1,000 to $4,000 per violation. The key is to report it, and the Texas AG already has a link up on its website to take complaints. Jail time is possible if you break this new law. Okay, and so you can file a complaint with the Texas Attorney General online or over the phone, and you can bet we're putting all of that information up on KHOU.com. In fact, major shout out to the digital team. I call them the web warriors because for months they have been uploading and updating all of the information that you need to know in order to get prepared for this September 1st rollout. All you have to do, go to KHOU.com, click on this report, and there you're going to find all of the details plus more links so you know everything that is changing all across the Lone Star State. So Guys, much, so much good information. Thank you, Matt.